How's it going? I'm Scott from French Into Punk, and this is my Motorhead collection. Uh, I've been doing these videos of my music collection for the last year or so. The first one was the 7 inch punk rock singles. The second one was the 12 inch punk rock records. At the end of that video, I said I was going to do a Motorhead one. I didn't get a chance because uh, French Into Punk has been busy doing stuff, writing a new record, doing shows, uh, and let me just pass away a few days ago. And I figured that this is the time I need to get, I need to do this. I need to do this video. There's about a hundred pieces here. You know, people have amazing collections. This is okay, I guess, about a hundred or so, whatever. It's not about the number, the quality. It just, it just you know, it doesn't matter. Uh, so this is all cool stuff. Um, you know, I've of course got all the obligatory stickers and stuff. There's some of the car and on the cases. These I haven't put on yet. You know, you gotta buy extras when the other ones wear out. Patches. Cool patches. This one, you know, I, got, I got them on here and stuff. Okay, so um, I first heard of Motorhead 1980. My brother and I bought the Ace of Spades record. It blew us away. It was amazing. I saw Motorhead for the first time in 1981, opening up for Ozzy Osbourne at the Springfield Civic Center in Springfield, Massachusetts. Amazing show. You know, I was a kid, just like people were throwing bomb like. Uh, firecrackers and M80s and explosions were going off all over the place. It was insane back then at concerts. Um, I have a Motorhead belt buckle. This is pretty cool. But I never put it on a belt because it would ruin all my guitars. Uh, so what I did is I put Velcro on the back of it. You can see that there. And it's in my pedal board. All, every show I do for the last three or four years it's in there. It's like a good luck charm. Always has been. Um, I've seen Motorhead about 30 times. I just saw them and got a little signature from Mr. Lemmy right there. Uh, September 15th, 2015. There's that. Can you see that there? Kind of? Yeah. Yeah. I got all sorts of stuff here. VHS tapes. Remember these? How do you, how do you work this? Um, singles. This is a birthday party thing. Concert from way back. The Lemmy DVD. Stage Fright DVD. It's probably from like 2005. That's great. Of course, the White Line Fever book by Janice Garza. She just did an article on Lemmy recently. Um, uh, Ultimate Collector's Guide to Motorhead. Another kind of box Motorhead set kind of thing. Uh, I have 7-inch records. Killed by Death 7-inch. That's the right record. Leaving Here, White Line Fever from 78 on Stiff Records. The... Motorhead over the top picture disc. <sighs> Pretty cool. Wendy o. Williams, Stand By Your Mind, Man with Lemmy. That's a great song, great s single. Iron Fist, a classic Motorhead song on the bronze label. The Motorhead over the top single again, because it's a different picture with the infamous bomber lighting rig. Motorhead Louie Louie, Tear You Down, 1978. Wow. Overkill, look at that cover. You know, Motorhead, definitely, this is the best logo, best logo in the business. All right. Uh, I got this record. It's signed by Lemmy at Main Street Records. There's a little thing there for 40 bucks. I bought this back when I was, I think, 17, 19 something. Um, this is on Blitz record. Cool. Cool to have that. Death Forever. Look at that artwork. I always had amazing artwork. Death Forever single. These, I traded a friend for some weird punk rock record. Three of the No Class. No Class! Shut up! You talk too loud. Um, first one, Lemmy and Some Lady on the cover of this one. This one is um, Facity Clark. And this one has, of course, Filthy Phil. 1979. Those are the No Class singles. Um, I'll go to the records next. I'm trying to do this quick because, you know, uh, these things take time. Of course, I, have, I got a poster here. Big, big motorhead, huge poster. But uh, I'll, I'll try to do the CDs. Start with Bad Magic. Awesome. Aftershock CD. The World is Yours. There's dust on it. Why is that? No. It was on this. All right. The World is Yours. The World is Yours. I got two of those because this one had some kind of special DVD in it. And I bought it because it's great. Motorize, motorizer. Inferno. Steve Vai played in this one. Hammered. That's what I'm going to do after this. Uh, Overnight Sensation, great record. Um, Kiss of Death, We Are Motorhead, Stay Out of Jail on this record. I listen to that daily. Snakebite Love, Bastards, which was actually supposed to be Motorhead's first name, Bastards, back in 75. Sacrifice, 
march or die, sacrifice. Uh, when I was a kid, I used to sacrifice and cut lawns up and down the street to buy bass guitar and also to buy Motorhead and punk rock records. March or die, uh, 1916. I think, didn't they get a Grammy for this? Uh, rock and roll. Anything I need? Orgasmatron. I got this at Sounds, it says, for $7.99. That's great. Uh, another perfect day. Dance on your grave, Rocket. I got mine. Great. Iron Fist. Fistful of Aces. Classic. No Sleep Till Hammersmith. Ace of Spades CD. Bomber CD. Another Bomber CD because that one has different singles on it. <laughs> Overkill CD. Live at Brixton Academy. Come on. Um, From the Vault. Motorhead compilation, Dirty Love compilation, because it had some title of a song I'd never heard before. This is a best of. I bought that because it's cool. <laughs> it was fun to listen to and check out. And I have an obsession with this stuff because it because uh, Motorhead changed my life. I'm gonna drink some tea here. The first time I heard Ace of Spades, my brother purchased it. We both, you know, we were coming home and just looking at the cover like, oh my god. This looks amazing, and we only had one record player in the house, which is in the living room. So he be he had to listen to it first, or he listened to it first, and I'd be running around, go! I want to hear it! I want to hear it! Uh, so yeah, that blew my mind. And when I listened to it, my parents were watching the news in the same room. I was sitting there with the headphones on, like this, listening to it, and I was just so blown away. It was frying my brain. It was great. I think on that record that I have, it starts with "Chase is Better Than a Catch." Some versions, I think the British version starts with Ace of Spades. That first clack -da -da -da, comes in, and I was just like <coughs> shaking. It was just blowing my mind, and I was making that noise like, <coughs> and all of a sudden I see shadows up above me. I look, and my mom is like going like that. So I take the headphones off, and she thought I was being electrocuted, which basically I was, but not the way she thought it was. And it was hilarious. She, she's like, Oh my god, I thought you were being electrocuted. You're making weird sounds. And I should have said, that's because my mind is being blown. <laughs> this is great. Unbelievable. All right, so this next record, uh, this is the Leather Bound No Remorse record. All like classic songs on here. 1984, purchased that. No Sleep at All, live record. Uh, rock and Roll vinyl, Eat the Rich vinyl. Um, picture Disc, the Buzzsaw. Picture Disc, Eat Your Heart Out, Black and Loss. Orgasmaton record. Killed by Death, 12-inch version, Shine, 12-inch version on the bronze label, Another Perfect Day record. All the dates are usually in these things when I purchase this. This one says 625-1983. Can you see that? Put that back. The I Got Mine, 12-inch vinyl. This says it's the complete motorhead kit. So when you're on a desert island, this is basically all you need. It comes with a 12 24 page color booklet, motorhead poster, motorhead patch, and um, Lemmy has a sword here, so if you need to kill a warthog to eat, you can use that. All right, uh, this is called Iron Fist, classic record. I'll say when I bought this, oh, this is going to take too much time, all right? No Sleep Till Hammersmith, Little Filthy, Ace of Spades is the record I'm talking about. Wow. You know, I would just look at this record, this picture back here. You know, when you're a kid and you, you hear a record like this, oh, you know, you hear all the stuff on the radio, there's some great, you know, Deep Purple and stuff. But this was purchased 1980, you can see that? This was like, wow. Just looking at these guys in the back, rec back of the record, like, Jesus Christ. Um, Ace of Spades, 12 inch version of that. Bummer record. It says Made in England. I purchased this in. Uh, Let's see, this says Motorhead Bomber 829 1987. That's late for this record. I don't know why it's that. I'll get that at Main Street Records in Northampton. The uh, St. Valentine's Mass Day Massacre with Girl School. Great, great stuff. Overkill record. This is the live uh, record from Pop 1980, some pop festival in Europe, signed by, can you see that? Phil Taylor. Great record. On Parole, it's kind of like their first record, right? Yeah, yeah, cool. Um, this is a record I got at Platypus Records in Westfield, Mass. 549, an import. That's a good deal. Um, 
tracks from like 1977. This is a different version of the same record, I believe. Different logo. See that? Different logos. I had to get them. Um, 1978. A bunch of cool things on here. Um, this says their first British album includes personal notes, photos of Motorhead, songs, Motorhead, Violet, Last Johnny, Iron Horse, White Line Fever, Keep Us on the Road, The Watcher, Train Kept It Rolling. This is a uh, program from a concert. This is the 1975 to 2005 concert thing. This show, I think this one, I drove five hours from New York to Maine, saw the show, and drove five hours back home just to see this show. Hey guys, on that, whatever. Uh, this is kind of a Motorhead classic rock magazine. Um, you know, I get other stuff like this. This when I remember when I got this. This is like a, a four foot by five, four foot by four foot giant Motorhead poster. I got that at Main Street Records. When uh, Ken, the owner, showed me this, I'm like, I'll take it. <laughs> I think he used to go to England and get any kind of Motorhead, motorhead stuff he could find, and I'd buy it. I still have my first Motorhead shirt I purchased when I was a kid. Still fits. I need to do some more push-ups, right? All right, I got this one. This one was white. I dyed it because I like, I don't know. Um, this is from the most recent tour, Bad Magic Tour. I was not missing that. I don't think I've missed any Motorhead shows that I can think of. Except if I'm not around. I even rerouted a French and a punk tour so I could go see Motorhead in Chicago. Um, yeah. So, what else do I got here? I think that's pretty much it. Oh, I don't know if I showed you this yet. When I was a kid in junior high, it was maybe seventh grade, eighth grade, my friend Jay Otto and I, we made our own Motorhead shirts. You can see it's kind of like a scrappy little kid drawing. Came out pretty good though, right? In art class, we could make a t shirt. Of course, it was going to be a Motorhead t shirt. Uh, you need the hat. I don't wear baseball hats, but I do every once in a while. You gotta have that. And when it's cold outside, you just need to put on your motorhead uh, ski cap, you know? Yeah, that works. And I think the only other thing you need, where is it when you're a motorhead fan? Can I find it here? You have to have these. All right, that's it, man. Lemmy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.